This video was sponsored by Sample Chefs. Canary Jewels just dropped his 10 beats a day production toolkit. It has tons of melodies, loops, starters to really elevate your workflow, hi-hat patterns, percussion loops. Everything is 100% royalty free. So uh, yeah, more on them later. Yo, what's good with you guys? I'm gonna just kind of break down a melody, go over several techniques I use to like maximize my workflow, stay inspired, and like, even if the melody doesn't turn out perfect or like something like that, I can still get something from it. If you make a beat and you don't really like it, you should never just delete it because there's still lots of stuff you could get from it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here is a final melody. I'm just gonna play that real quick. So yeah, it's a pretty unique wavy melody. It does have pretty unique sound design, and that's one of the main points of this video. So when I'm starting a melody, I go to find a pretty cool sound that inspires me. I got this one from Nuclear Volume 1, Key 12. It's kind of a weird sound. Yeah, and then I opened Canary Jewel's 10 beats a day pack. It was amped right here, and it sounds like this. Now I did delete a few things, the bass notes down here, because I like these, and then I pitched it down. And I'm just gonna go over how to make MIDI like this, just real quick. The key is really spreading out your notes. Let's copy that over. Copy that over again, and we'll just actually move this down. Stretch these top notes out just a little bit so it blends in more. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's it. Yeah, let me put back the original MIDI. All right, and on the key, you'll notice that I actually turned up the attack because I didn't really like the first part of it. And I also turned up the SMP start, so before it sounded like this. Barely inch it up, just like that. For effects, I just put on an EQ just to get a little bit of the muddiness out. Valve compressor. I turned down the wow, it was already kind of detuned. It gives it a nice lo-fi compressed sound. So yeah, next thing I always do religiously is I layer it. I instantly just copied the same pattern over like four other different sounds. So I found bell eight, it was right here. And all I did was I just copied the exact same pattern over and then I put a halftime on it. So it sounds like this. And on this bell, I just copied over the effects chain and I just added a halftime. Just a regular halftime. Trust the process here. Then I find another bell, bell 26, same pack. And I deleted everything except the top notes. It's the exact same MIDI, it's just copied over. And like I said, it just has a halftime on it. And then bell 11, same thing, just copied over. And then bell 21, final layer. It's the exact same MIDI, I just removed some of the top notes this time. And I'll go over effects for that in a minute, but that bell was actually from a different pack. It was from uh, Kendo Band's Indigo One Shot Kit. It's a free one shot kit. Rev Plate, Reverb, and a Shaper Box. What this does is it kind of like fades it out every bar. And kind of accent the tempo. Now, what you're going to want to do at this point, select two sounds that might complement each other. Like those, those sound good together. So I like that way that sounds. Delete all of this right here. Move this to C. So you've already added lots of processing to it and stuff like that. Move that to C and then go into here and delay down C. And now, that's your new one shot. If you want to take it further, what you can do is export this and add more effects to it and add it to uh, like a guitar rig. Guitar rig is really good. Or you can add like a little bit of flair. I do this a lot. That pad that you heard, like the... 
that was pad two from max shooter by the way i wouldn't recommend that you just throw that pad in there like that kind of didn't really do anything to it you kind of didn't change it so what i would do is i would add a half time and then let's add a guitar rig i like to use tapeified Now it sounds way different. Maybe you can export that and then reverse it and then throw it back on. You know what I mean? Another idea is you could just reverse it like that. And then now you have a pretty unique pad. Yeah, so next thing I added was this vocal and that came from the Canary Jewels 10 Beats a Day MIDI collection. Ton of vocals in here. I found the hmm three and the hmm four. This effect chain instantly turns any vocals into like a pretty cool sounding sound. So first off, I added a storch filter. This is a really good filter plugin. Oh. 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 I want it to be more smooth. Added an EQ. Oh. And then here's a real sauce right here. I added an alter boy. You guys see me do this a lot. Just pitch it up 12 and then turn the format down just a little bit. Also do this with bell sounds too and this is another way i make one shots put an ultra boy on it pitch it down pretty much completely change the sound uh, this kind of makes it more ambient pitch it down just a little bit until you find that sweet spot and then pitch it back up to c or something small chorus like that high octave double low octave double turn the format down so this is before this is after so yeah that's uh, another thing i like to do so yeah next thing i added was this violin right here Literally just a phrase I found in Nuclear Volume 1. Yeah, right here. Added some effects to it. Some other stuff you can put in one-shot kits. Add a bell to it. Add like a little altar boy or a halftime or a guitar rig or a portal. There's lots of possibilities here, man. But yeah, this was really to just accent the sample. This is what it sounded like without effects. This is with effects. Halftime, of course. For the master chain, I just added a sound shifter. This is some really good sauce. I use it all the time, but it's just such an underrated tool. 12 compressor on the master, turn up the lo-fi, and it kind of gives it a nice vintage feel. Then I added a Mo TT. This really kind of compresses it and brings out the high end. It makes it a little bit hissy. I really like that. just an EQ to filter out all those lows and mids. I wanted to make it a bit more clear. Then a guitar rig, and I turned the mix level down a little bit on this. Older days preset, and I turned off everything except for the replica and the octaverb. So it just kind of makes the melody flow more. Then I added a chorus, June 6. This is to kind of soften it and widen out the melody just a little bit more and just give it a nice wavy feel. Then I just exported all that because I didn't want the sound shifter to affect the sub bass. to the drums and drop some more tips but first let's go over this midi pack real quick man i really want to show more of this to you guys first of all it has lots of different piano starters percussion loops Hi-hat loops. 
All kinds of stuff in here, man. To really kind of kickstart ideas, got a hi-hat midi kit, more midis right here. That's pretty sick. Yeah, these are only the minis I can really count on. Still never really been a fan of Unison products. If you use Unison products, that's cool. Personally, I think their business is like a little sketchy or whatever. R&B midi as well. Slow R&B. These are really, really great chord starters. And of course it's got a trap mini collection, which is uh, stuff I just went over. That's what's up. Some like little baby stuff right there, man. Some of the stuff almost sounds like a, a bit classical. I really like it. It's definitely unique. All right, so onto the beat. Honestly, if we were to turn this into like more of like a placement thing, what we could do is actually just reverse this. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Speed up a little bit, actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that more. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the sample like that, to be honest. The first thing I started with here is actually the 808. I'm gonna go over how to design your own 808, so just real quick. One thing I like doing is adding a THU slate. Kind of sounds like one of those rock star 808s, I guess. Yeah, just turn it down a little bit. Uh, another thing you could do is uh, turn up the R and mix. But that's like for certain kind of 808s, honestly. So let's turn that back down. And then let's shorten it a little bit just to make it more snappy. And another thing we can do is we can add a guitar rig to it. We're gonna open it on like a different mixer channel. Move it all the way over here, all right? And then link it to the track right next to it. Call this filter, all right? And then let's go to guitar rig or just some other effect plugin that you think is cool. Let's just find uh, something interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an EQ to it and we're gonna remove some of those muddy frequencies. Okay, there we go. Dirt injector preset right here. And now I'm just gonna turn down the filter. So yeah, there you have it. One way to just sound design 808s. So yeah, let's reset this and move it back. And this is what the 808 pattern looks like, by the way. A good trick is to add little pauses like that. To make it stop, what you do is you go into envelope right here and make sure this is turned all the way back. So that way it stops. Add little stops in it right there. Same with up here. Next thing I added after that was a hi-hat. And the trick I do for balance is I add just a very spaced out hi-hat first and then I fill it in later. All right, and then I just add a second hi-hat. Make sure it's a different sound though. Don't do it with the same hi-hat sound. I especially like these right here. You have to have the right hi-hat to do it with though. This is a layup hi-hat from the hologram drum kit, I think. Yep, it's in there somewhere. Turn down the velocities, just like that. Same thing here, the same thing here. Here, I really like this. Two rolls where the velocities are going down and then turn one down. It's like a zigzag, I guess. And then you wanna turn one up higher than the other. Pretty cool transition into the next four bars. I just added another hi-hat down here. That's a Flint hi-hat from HL Culture the Trilogy, and that kind of gives it more rhythm. Then I just added a little snare, and I found this snare right here. Also from the hologram drum kit, sounds pretty cool. And then I layered it with this other rim. 
you could export that too. But you can still kind of hear mine though. You can hear that tone there. So what I would do to it, add some kind of effect to it. Chorus works. You can probably export that. That sounds a little bit better. Then I added that snare down there. It's just a one bar pattern that repeats just this right here. Then an open hat right here. You could even make custom transitions, man. Literally the beginning of that perk loop. Take that bit right there. Maybe reduce this part. Boom, just like that, new transition. Let's remove this tail though. Definitely go check out the 10 beats a day pack. Tons of stuff you could do with this pack, man. There was a free demo of this kit as well. Tons of really useful stuff in here. Man, you can even make risers out of reversing some of this stuff, dude. Adding some reverb and halftime to it. Layer it with some white noise. It'll really revolutionize your workflow. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want next. So uh, yeah, till next time.